guys, my name is Narmina and welcome to my very first video. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm absolutely obsessed with all the healthy things, the healthy lifestyle, my smoothies. So today I'm going to share three of my very favorite smoothies. It's going to be a chocolate one, a detox one and a green one. So stay tuned and watch what I'm going to do today. All my smoothies are vegan and gluten free. I'm not a complete vegan, but I'm trying to get into that kind of lifestyle. So today I'm going to use only organic products, no animal products, and I'm going to have some almond milk, but you can use oat milk, you can use coconut milk or whatever you want. I'm having some organic cacao powder, I'm having some coconut butter, really good and really nice, a banana, some dates and hemp seeds. And hemp seeds are amazing because they give a little crunch to your smoothie, but they also are really healthy and are a really good source of protein and full of antioxidants, just like the cacao powder. And then I'm going to have some sea salt because the combination of the cacao and the hemp seed with a little bit of sea salt is so nice and a little bit of cinnamon. And cinnamon is actually a really good fat burner, so really nice and healthy as well. And then my ice cubes that are melting away right now. So I would have this smoothie probably after my workout because chocolate is actually really good after you did your workout and the banana as well. So this is definitely something that I would do after I had a workout session and I want to treat myself and I want to have some sugars that I probably need after sweating. So yeah, one of my favorites. So I'm going to start with the almond milk. I have quite a lot in it. It's like 425 milliliters because it's for two people. I'm gonna put my cacao powder in. Chocolate is actually really, really good after your workout. A lot of people are trying to avoid chocolate, but if you have some pure chocolate, like dark chocolate, 70% or this one, you can get away with it. It's actually healthy, just like a banana, because you need the sugars after your workout. And dates have a lot of sugar, but as well, after your workout, you're allowed to treat yourself a little bit and have some sugars. So I'm gonna cut the banana. I love bananas because they're so nice. They fill you up, you feel full, and they're just nice. Like they give a rich taste and like some sugar. I just love them. Then I'm having some coconut butter. My ice cubes. I mixed here like a teaspoon of sea salt and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Sometimes I put a little bit of cinnamon in my coffee, in my black coffee, just before my workout in the morning. I'm going to put three tablespoons of hemp seeds. And this will give you the nice crunch. And hemp seeds are really, really rich in antioxidants. And they're like a natural source of protein. So you're having some proteins as well. I'm going to blend all of this and enjoy my smoothie. So this is it. I love the smell of this chocolate. <laughs> How amazing does this look? Where's my straw? This is my first one, the chocolate ham scene smoothie. I can't wait to show you guys the other one. This one smells really good, but I'm gonna get ready, clean this up and I'll see you in a second. Everything is clean and I'm ready for my second smoothie. It's one of my favorites, again, it's the mango detox smoothie. It's so nice for in the morning. It's a little bit spicy because of the cayenne pepper and the ginger, but that's why I love it because I don't feel like I need coffee after I had the smoothie. So I'm gonna have some mango, banana again, a little bit of ginger, coconut water, but you can also use white tea. Only thing that you need to do, you need to make the white tea an evening before and leave it in the fridge and then use it instead of the coconut water. It will give you a little bit more of caffeine if you want that in the morning and it's just so nice. But today I'm using the coconut water and I'm gonna have some fresh squeezed lemon juice and that's it. I'm going to start with the coconut water. I'm using 250 milliliters of coconut water. But like I said, you can also use the white tea instead of the coconut water. It will have a little bit of caffeine and some good antioxidants. So you can do it the evening before, leave it in the fridge and use it in the morning. So I'm using 200 grams of mango. I'm having one large banana, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. I always put a little bit more because I love lemon. Then again, some ginger. 
Just be careful with the ginger because if you don't like the spice of the ginger, don't put in too much. A little bit of cayenne pepper, just a tiny little bit. Whew, that was too much. Uh oh. So I probably used too much cayenne pepper, so I'm going to die when I'm going to have the smoothie. So don't do this at home. <laughs> just put a little bit of cayenne pepper in and a little bit of ginger because you don't want to die when you wake up in the morning and you have your smoothie. I'm going to blend all of this together and enjoy my very, very spicy smoothie today. This is all ready. It smells okay. It smells nice. It doesn't smell like I'm going to die when I drink it. If you want, you can always put some ice cubes in to make it a little bit fresher. So this is my second smoothie, my detox mango smoothie. It's so nice for in the morning. It will refresh you, it will wake you up, and it's a little bit spicy, so no coffee needed. I'm going to get ready for my last smoothie. It's going to be a green one. And I'm just excited because I'm going to be able to try all of these when I finish this video. <laughs> right guys, it's time for my last smoothie. It's the green smoothie with fresh spinach, avocado, cucumber, fresh lemon juice, ginger and a little bit of apple juice. If you don't like apple juice, you can use coconut water or normal water. But I love the sweet flavor of the apple juice. I'm having this smoothie all the time. Sometimes I have it in the morning or after my lunch or in the afternoon. It's so healthy, it's very light and it's full of vitamins and some vegetables. So you're having everything in one smoothie. I'm putting 250 milliliters of fresh apple juice. This is a handful. I mean, I don't really have measurements for this. It's just a handful of spinach. And it looks a lot, but when you blend it out, there's nothing left. So a handful of spinach, avocado. I'm using half an avocado. That's more than enough. A little bit of cucumber. I'm gonna cut this one because it's a little bit too big. lemon juice, it's like one tablespoon, a little bit more. Ginger. And that's it. The last one. I love this smoothie. I mean, the color looks healthy already. There you go, my last smoothie, the green one with some spinach, avocado, ginger and lemon juice. Right guys, it's a wrap for my very first video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you make them at home and let me know which one is your favorite. I love them all, but I can't wait to hear from you guys which one you like the most. Make sure you like my video, thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe. And stay tuned because I'm gonna make loads of more of these videos and I can't wait to see you the next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>